Today is Pentecost Sunday, the day the church was born and where the Holy Spirit poured down over my mother Mary and the disciples. We hope you had a blessed Sunday. We hope you had a great, beautiful day in my holy name. We hope that you had a beautiful time with your family on Pentecost Sunday. And we want to dive right in into today's subject, which is unfortunately more gun violence. Let's tune in to our local Google search engine here. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn on the browser. Just a second here. And if you type in Catholic right now in Google, unfortunately, you're going to hear about this news in Nigeria of where over 50 people have died in a Nigerian church today on Pentecost Sunday. This just came in, my brothers and sisters. This is recent live news. On this beautiful day of where I sent the Holy Spirit over my disciples, I promise that I sent over the, my disciples and all the people in the church today, on this beautiful day, over 50 people have died. This is unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. Our freedom is in jeopardy. So there's a, a lot of different news outlets where we can click on here. I'm going to read a little bit here from The Guardian. At least 50 people killed and dozens more injured in assault during Sunday Mass in Ondo State. Gunmen launched an assault in the Catholic Church in Ondo State in Nigeria during Mass on Sunday, killing more than 50 people in a satanic attack. The key word here is satanic. When there's over 50 people killed, this is the work of the devil. This is the work of the enemy, the the the, the one that's out against me. If you're not with me, you are against me, I say in the Bible. And this is clearly the work of the devil. There's another news article here where it actually shows a picture of the aftermath there in Nigeria. And this is important for us to talk about because I want to make a correlation here with the pandemic. I don't know if you remember when the pandemic first started, there was, it started in China. Many of you don't live in China. And perhaps many of you thought this wasn't going to even affect me. But as you can see, as time went on, the virus affected everyone, everywhere. And this could be something that could be in, in the same correlation as, uh, as this pandemic where we are safe now in our churches. But what if a few months or maybe a few la years later, with our safety be in jeopardy in our churches? That is why we need to pray. We need to pray for our enemies, pray for those that persecute us, and continue to work hard with our local government, establishing laws, talking to my brothers and sisters, making sure that we can provide a safe environment for our praise and worship. Now, there's a Bible verse I want to remind you, Matthew 7, 12. So in everything, do to others what you would want them to do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. This is the golden rule. My beloved daughters, my beloved sons, treat others how you would want to be treated. Such a simple philosophy, hard to comprehend. Why on this beautiful day of Pentecost, the day of the Holy Spirit, are there more than 50 people dying inside a church? The gates of hell will not prevail against my church. I have said it and I have stated it in the Bible. In the Bible. So let us, on this beautiful day of Pentecost, enter into a moment of prayer. God the Father, on this day of Pentecost, we ask you to have mercy on those souls that have rested today. Those 50 precious souls of mine that I have died for on the cross. I pray, Father, that you receive them in your presence. I also pray, Father, 
that we have that beautiful presence of the Holy Spirit, that we pray to the Holy Spirit always and forever, knowing that it is always with us, that He is always with us, protecting us, guiding us. And that's a beautiful gift that I have given to my beloved sons and daughters. May they be able to benefit from them. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Apologize that this has to be the news on this Pentecost Sunday, but it's important for us to realize that our church is being attacked today. And we, as we walk in the future, we need to realize the blessings that we have today, knowing that we have freedom in the majority of our churches, but not to take it for granted. Do I attend my church? Do I attend as a ministry? Do I attend as a worshiper? Let us be thinking, let, us, let this be a couple of things for our reflection on this beautiful day. We ask this through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God bless. Take care.